guys how are you guys hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July and everyone's safe enjoying themselves really appreciate you guys stopping by um, to the channel I want to thank everyone who's uh, come on now we're at 50 subscribers seems like uh, it's growing slowly so um, if you guys do get a chance please um, comment below like the video and please as always subscribe really appreciate uh, as the card collecting hobby is getting up there I'm learning so much um, as I mentioned before I am a Syracuse MBA student uh, very close to graduation active military um, got a few more years to retire and trying to find things that I'm passionate about which is sports and card collecting and investing I hope you guys enjoyed the video I did uh, about a day ago on my five tips um, when it comes to card investing and flipping and this is my rookies um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna go with five rookies per se this can be kind of all over the place but uh, I will go in order from number one to five uh, in that sense but there's little areas I will be going sidebar um, when it comes to what basketball rookies I'm thinking will be worth investing in and of course with the NBA season coming back uh, fingers crossed in approximately two to three weeks uh, the anticipation and excitement couldn't be uh, any uh, greater and so uh, sports cards of course have been picking up like wildfire absolutely nuts uh, I started the hobby back on May 1st and um, I actually had some old cards that I bought two three years ago um, like I said being a Laker fan we see the Kyle Kuzma over at the end um, just got me into the hobby and uh, applying my sports knowledge uh, I really feel that um, it has an advantage if you have to have some kind of knowledge when it comes to the cards right if you're gonna invest something into you like and of course enjoy so uh, let's get to it and here are my top five rookies and miscellaneous that I think people should invest in so let's get to it LT is back I am your host uh, let's get on this journey guys so I want to do a disclaimer guys I am uh, very excited uh, as my channel is growing and people are growing more with the hobby uh, I'm seeming to having difficulty I have this on eBay selling for 25 I actually dropped the price it's a Kyle Kuzma I have nothing against him I just don't think he's the future for our team uh, being a Laker fan and I really don't have any interest or uh, faith in him as a player uh, at least on a Laker and the PGI pristine grading international which I bought this card for I looked back about 25 30 bucks back in 2017 um, I really have no interest in this card like I said it's obviously in great condition as I've kept it so here's the thing guys as my channel grows I'm gonna give a little incentive to you guys uh, if we get to 100 subscribers number 100 subscriber I'm gonna be monitoring each weekend I will give this card to my 100 subscriber for free so uh, let's get the subscriptions up let's spread the channel out guys um, 100 subscriber and um, not only that but I think with the comments and likes as I have more people um, getting into the hobby and whatnot and uh, watching my channel um, I think the most engaged comments and whatnot will get um, this card as well so as I do more videos guys I'll get more um, into details but let's stick with 100 subscribers uh, right now and this card will be yours so definitely a uh, little incentive right there and thanks for helping me out guys um, so let's get started my number one guy right now um, is in the 2017 draft class a lot of people think Jason Tatum which I do have his cards is the best guy of the draft uh, when it came to 2017 obviously Kyle Kuzma's in that one Lonzo Ball number two pick number one was Markel Fultz oh by the way I have the whole lot right here so actually here is the top five players of the draft so you have Markel Fultz Lonzo Ball Jason Tatum number three oops my bad uh, you have Josh Jackson number four from the Suns and then DeAndre Fox number five so actually before we get into that I wanted to tell you guys I got an absolute steal on this so check this out guys so I got this lot right here this is all not all but I think this is at least 25 of the top players of the 2017 draft class there's my Donovan Mitchell that's my number one player by the way which I'm gonna jump into um, 
but I got this lot for 20 bucks right here. I talked this guy down $10 because I bought three sets from him. Actually, what started it was this one right here. So Kyle Murray, I thought this car was absolutely gorgeous. And you won't believe this, I paid $5 for all three of these. Actually, I think, no, actually it was $8. But gorgeous rookie cards. Kyle Murray, um, did I say Kyle Murray? Sorry, Jamal Murray, my bad. Uh, Jamal Murray, these cards is what struck it out for me. So what I did was, a little tip for you guys, when I go into lots, what I do is I negotiate with the seller on eBay, and I got this for approximately $8, right? And then what I did was after I got this one, I figured, hey, if he has this listed for $30, assuming it's a he, um, I talked it down $10 off since it's an incentive for sellers to give you all their cards in one shipping so they don't have to pay three times, right? So there's an incentive obviously to both parties. So I got this for 20 bucks and then get this one guys. This right here, my friends, I think was the steal. So these are uh, optic cards right here. Sorry guys, my sleeves are a little bit tight uh, on here. So this is the rookies edition. I don't want to damage these cards. I actually bought some more sleeves today, so I'm gonna move them over after the fact. But these are absolute gorgeous cards right here. Panini Optum cards, uh, optic cards, sorry. And they have kind of a hologram to them as well. So I got these guys, same lot, 30 bucks. I got this for $20 right here. Absolute steal. I paid 50 to $60 on all those cards you just saw. And these are easily, easily flippable. I'm gonna get profit off all these. So I spent $50, $60 on those, and I'm reselling these on eBay. Yeah, there's a Tatum right there. I just wish that I got uh, Donovan Mitchell. So where am I getting it, guys? My number one guy, Donovan Mitchell. So I recommend, guys, this is my top guy right now. Um, I just bought a lot on him. I got a lot, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's, it's a compilation of different cards. Typically people sell them in rookie batches, veterans, so for example, like a LeBron lot would have some of his older Cleveland cards, rookie cards, whatever. Um, people find incentive to just throw a bunch of the cards in on a certain player, where there's common interest, right? And I got, um, which I'll do another video on, I got 13 cards of Donovan Mitchell for $10, absolute steal. There's a couple of rookie cards in there, which I can't wait to show you guys. But Donovan Mitchell, if you guys watched my first mail opening, I think this is my first and my second mail. Um, I got these right here for altogether $60 right here. So if I remember correctly. But Donovan Mitchell is a guy that I really, really believe in. Um, I just think in Utah, uh, the whole thing with the Rudy Gobert situation. Here's the NBA hoops, by the way. Uh, it seems like these Prism Emergents are really popular. The refractor, whatnot, but obviously these are PSA 10s right here. So I feel that these are great investments uh, for the long term and obviously the short term if I decide to flip them. But being a fan of him too, I might just hold on longer to him depending on which direction it goes. So where I'm getting at with Donovan Mitchell, guys, is the whole Rudy Gobert situation. I don't know how it's going to work out, uh, if they can coexist. He definitely, in my opinion, is the steal of 2017. Utah did a great job. The problem with the Utah market is it's a very, very small market. And I think inevitably, just like every Utah jazz person, if the exception of Carl Malone, well, actually can't use him, John Stockton, who retired uh, a Utah jazz person, they don't end up staying on there. Um, just, uh, I can't remember his freaking name. What, Carlos Boozer is one guy that ended up leaving. Um, and there's another guy that I can't, I, I see the face, but I can't remember the name. But my point is, players don't stay in Utah very long in small markets. So, of course, as a Laker fan, I would love to see this guy in a Laker uniform. But he's one of my favorite players, up and coming, and I'm going to follow him wherever he goes. Um, so, my number one investment, I believe, is Donovan Mitchell. His cards have been uh, s slowly creeping up. When I was looking at the emergence right here, so I have two different ones, right? I have the uh, Hyper Prism and then I have the Emergent, right? So you can see the difference right there. See the little rainbow right there? So this card, when I checked it a few days ago, was, was already going for uh, over $100. And like I said, back in May, I paid about probably $30, $35 for this one. Same thing with this ordeal. Um, it's not the rainbow deal, but his cards are going up into the $100 when it comes to the PSA 10s. And of course, the NBA Hoops. Uh, is not the most sought after card, but 
his rookie cards are slowly building up. So my recommendation, my number one guy, Donovan Mitchell, if you guys um, are looking to investing. And guys, just remember with NBA season coming up, guys, um, these cards are only going to go up and up. And whether you decide to flip them or hold them for the long-term investment, people are going to go crazy for basketball cards. There is, uh, I don't think there's any debate about that. So here's my other guy, Trey Young. Now, Trey Young, guys, he uh, signed with Clutch Sports which is LeBron Anthony Davis's agent, Rich Paul. I don't have to say much to there. <laughs> Once again, it's all tied to the Lakers, right? But Trey Young, guys, is my number two pick uh, with cards. I actually just got a couple of lots of him. I actually got absurd, stupid, cheap prices um, on there. And like I said, guys, on eBay, I watched the as sold, right? The sold completed, if you look in the filter section. And I'll get into another video where I go into eBay and um, my tips and show you guys a tutorial on what I'm doing exactly. But um, Trey Young, guys, the Rated Rookie Optic card right here, this one I bought for $30 uh, back in May. And I think it was midweek, and this card I've already seen is close to $100. Uh, I saw the last one sell for $60, $70 when I checked uh, right before 4th of July. But absolute gorgeous card, guys. Rated Rookie Optic card. These things, and this is not a base model either. So I got a hologram, which I plan on sending to get graded. Um, his cards have been going crazy, crazy, crazy. I wish I could show you the other Trey Young cards I have coming in the mail, but that's another day. Just two examples, too, that I pulled out. If you guys watch my mosaic one, um, now that I've learned that these are silvers, these are not uh, necessary base ones. These are definitely have some value with the Trey Youngs. So I'm going to hold on to these and probably grade them. But these are my long term investments right there. And really, with the, the lots that I sold or, or I ended up buying was one of his uh, optic cards, which is this one. And there was a couple other two. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But like I said, I will show you guys uh, once I get that. I'm going to probably do the individual player as I have more time. But Trey Young, guys, really the future is bright with this kid in Atlanta. Um, you know, Kobe Bryant uh, is one of his idols. And he really, really loves the game of Kobe. And I just think that with Trey Young, he's a great investment. My number two pick. If you don't believe me, go on to his prices in eBay. Look up his rookie cards and you'll see what I'm talking about. Get them while you can. They're 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 um, reasonably affordable. And then if you're looking for lots too, just like with Donovan Mitchell, look for those lot cards, guys. Rookie card lots are going to be honestly the better bang. So for example, if you're looking for this card, right, and it's selling for let's just say 40, 50 bucks, buy it now. Or if you're bidding for the card, right, if you go in put the same card, you look for the lot, right. You might find this same card in two, three of the rookies. You might pay a little bit more, but hey, if this is going for forty dollars, just using an example, and then another lot, sixty dollars, right? And you get two, three of the cards of it. Why not go for the lot, right? Just my opinion. All right, uh, number three, number three, um, Jason Tatum, guys. So Jason Tatum, I pulled this out on the mosaic. Here's another silver right here. Jason Tatum is definitely going to be the future for the Boston Celtics. Uh, one of the guys for sure. Um, Jason Tatum, I really, really think he's going to be the future uh, part of it with Jalen Brown. Um, it just depends with what they're going to their plan with Jason Tatum, with his contract, and what they're going to do for the long term is going to matter. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they're going to, the Boston Celtics are going to try to sign all those young players uh, that they had, especially with Gordon Hayward coming up on his last contract, right? So right here, guys, this lot that I got, of Jason Tatum and I learned something with the Tatum right so as my number three pick for Jason Tatum investments rookie cards uh, I along with the Don Russ cards there's the optic version which is more of the pristine card that people look after uh, rated rookie is still a popular one with the Don Russ logo when you're looking right here look for that optic logo because the optic one think of it like tops and tops chrome uh, after doing numerous numerous research i learned that there's a difference between the don russ and the optic but the optic ones are the more popular ones uh, of course so these are a very base model but still a good investment um, if you don't believe me if you look for this card just in general right here his card is going for at least 40 dollars right now it depends if you're going for a bid or buy it now um, this was a lot as well i bought this lot right here that included this card uh, I paid about $35. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I paid $17. So I was thinking of another lot. That's how many cards I've bought. But uh, $17, guys. Great deal right here. I got this this card, the base model, of course, as a rookie card. Um, 
this ordeal right there. I actually, it might have been in my mail uploading actually. So here's a second year card right here for the Celtics. And the My House cards are absolutely gorgeous. Love these little hologram reflector deals. So those things are definitely going up in popularity. And another Jason Tatum Octa card. Looks like it's a second year. So it's not bad, man. Paid $70 for these cards right here. And I forgot to mention that this got thrown in as well. So I got five cards right here. Really good. Another rookie card right there. So I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of good deals on there. But like I'm saying with Jason Tatum, guys, unless the Celtics give him the contract that he so deserves um, as the number two, th number three pick in the 2017 draft, his card prices are going to go only rise and rise. So that's the fun part about this card market is that everyone has their different preferences on players and whatnot. But in reality, you know, at the end of the day, what's what's it going to do for uh, people? You know, what what. What is the popular person? What, what is the flavor of the week, right? Um, so that's my number three guy. And I guess not going to number four. So I, I'm lying. I'm not going to number five. So these are the four rookies right here because I don't have the other cards that I've purchased to show you guys uh, in, in that regard. Um, interesting, as I'm going with this video right here, sometimes you get little steals when it comes to eBay. Okay. I have a funny story with this. I don't know if the other people who are into car collecting, investing, and flipping, if they've gotten to this problem. But I have a nice PSA 10 right here, Luka Dantich, that you can see just emergent. Has tons of scratches and beat up card. Okay, this guy had it at a bidding starting for uh, 1999, and then I did an offer to him. Uh, I think I put 40, 50 dollars, right? You always gotta try to go for the lower deal. And I am buying this card for $80. So after tax and shipping, it went to close to $90, $94. And it came damaged, um, obviously, as you can see here. And uh, it took me two weeks to get this card. And I messaged the guy, and he had no idea that the card was missing. Really professional, really nice guy. Um, really frustrated, you could tell, with the mailing, mailing system. So USPS, which is the most popular with eBay when it comes to sending these cards out, because um, it's the cheapest. He could not locate this card, uh, so he went to the post office and they said that uh, it was supposed to be coming out, but it never ended up coming. And so, lesson learned for him, he should have done a better job at protecting this thing, because it's a PSA 10, Jet Mint. Uh, this card right here, as I was looking, is going for over, I want to say $150 to $200 when I was looking the other day, and it came damaged. So what happened, I messaged the seller, and of course, as a seller, as I told you guys before, the seller has most of the crap, the buyer has all the rights. So he had to refund my money. So I got that back and I asked him, um, Can you, do you want your card back? And he said, no, just keep it. He was extremely frustrated. So I'm gonna send this out to PSA and get this graded. And what I've done researching with PSA 10s already, if it's already in the condition, there's no reason why I can't go back to 10. Uh, or a nine if somehow it got damaged, but I'm not opening this up as I'm still learning with this process But uh, I made $90 essentially. I mean essentially I got a free card here and potentially could double the price So these are sometimes the little lucky things you get in I guess but funny story uh, So Luka Doncic number four pick um, for me he is sensational I gotta say he's the future for the Dallas Mavericks and I actually love 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 his game um, he's been compared to Magic Johnson, and if you watch his style of ball, he can pretty much create any kind of game and shoot from when he needs to. So, Luka Doncic right here, the rated rookie, and this is the mistake as I'm learning. I don't want to call it a mistake, but I paid $40, $45 for this, these two cards right here. So, I got a rated rookie Don Russ, but it's not the optic one, which is the ones that a lot of people want. Those are going to be the higher value, of course, but I think for $45 when I paid for this in May, wasn't too bad of a value so still a gorgeous card and I forgot to mention all the card that look I really studied the edges right look for the little um, whitening of course these cards are you don't see right there but obviously surface and everything obviously it depends on the package too this is obviously I've inspected when I pulled it out it came out in really good condition and then this card was part of it right so this is where I say it's sweet the deal so it's a floor generals second year card for Luka Doncic right and uh, this was part of it. So it's a really nice card right there. And obviously I plan on sending these two cards to get graded and I'm gonna flip them um, once I get uh, 
my cards back are going to be sending out to PSA submission for the first time uh, in actually this week so I'm pretty freaking excited about that but yeah the Luka Dantage uh, cards have been crazy crazy stupid what people are paying for um, his cards and that's why I kind of put him at number four at the bottom because unless you uh, have the kind of funds and you don't want to go into debt Luka Dantage cards are pretty pretty hard uh, to buy um, with base cards which I just shared right there. I actually just got a nice one. It's a hologram one, which I'll share in another video. I just bought today. Um, completely different one, but don't want to go off topic. Luka Dantich, this rookie card right here was the next best that I saw people were going after. So these holograms I'm noticing, these Paninis. Okay, I don't know the exact name of these, um, but you can see right there, it's a rookie card because he played for Real Madrid. Has a little background there. Always make sure you look for the numbers right there. The number card when you're searching. You use ComC, eBay, Facebook, Instagram, whatever the case may be. Uh, but gorgeous card, kept in very good condition. You can see right there. This is obviously I'm sending to greeting. And for this one, I paid a pretty penny. I believe I paid $70 for this card right here. Um, but when I looked at it, uh, I want to say right before June, towards the end of May, I was looking for this card. It was going for an average of $40, $50. And I think this card has gone up in, in value and price, of course, as Luka Doncic cards are going crazy. And really what set it for me was I got this second card in. So this rookie credentials, another rookie card, nice little, I love the shine of these cards. You can see right there, um, another Panini one. Like I said, I have to go and look at the names right there. And I'm making the corrections I'm going, if you guys seen the video. So obviously I'm making my corrections as I'm recording the video. But this card right here was part of the deal. So quite honestly, when I was looking up, what I do is I look at this card, I look at this card, I see how much they're going for, and obviously if the lot of cards is cheaper than buying the two cards, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, buy the locket. Buy the lot, in my opinion. But Luka Doncic cards, guys, um, those are the ones that I have, and I'm buying slowly as I can afford, and I'm gonna try to uh, flip some other cards and gain my capital. Um, so I have my cash reserve and I can buy other cards that I think are going to be the long term. But those are my uh, top four rookies uh, on that ordeal. And really I guess the number five um, is still in the air. I still have to figure out who I think is worth buying into. Because those are the cards that I've invested in so far. But I guess in that deal, um, I have a DeAndre, DeAndre Fox card right here. Which I'm going to flip eventually. And apparently that's what people, uh, they're pretty popular with. So maybe he's the one, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? Those are the four that I've shared. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below on what you guys think uh, the number five guy is there or if you guys think that there's um, better picks out there. And uh, always open to, uh, you know, you guys' feedback. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my... Uh, uh, rookies on which cards that I believe in you know not just in the last year but over here and um, I'll be making a lot more videos but I want to go into detail of uh, the older cards that I bought and uh, yeah so until then guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for supporting the channel uh, make sure you please drop a like a comment and of course subscribe really appreciate it and until then live in happiness Live healthy and live in harmony.